this one is not the continuation of that tutorial so it's from scratch so you can still watch only this video and understand how to install Redshift for any of the versions of Houdini so let's get started so yeah first go to uh, the first thing I, I need to tell is like it's installing Redshift is getting harder and harder nowadays uh, I can't even find the download button in the page for the Maxon app or uh, any other uh, Redshift plugins so that's uh, really true it's really annoying to install these uh, Redshift plugins for Houdini so that's why I made this video now so let's uh, see how to install it first go to the Maxon website and search for download button you can't find that so let's uh, I, I, I'll give you a link to the forum page where the downloads are available page so I'm going to share this link below in the description uh, so you can you can save some time so this is the link once you download the link uh, you will get the redshift uh, installation file here and uh, I have this in my desktop here uh, you can just double click and install it so during installation you can disable or enable whichever plugins you want uh, I'm just going to keep Houdini and disable Cinema 4D for now I don't want Cinema 4D plugin so just disabled it and others are like uh, by default enabled so you can click next and uh, you can wait for the installation I'm just overwriting the existing Redshift installation I don't want that so installation is uh, in progress now Now the installation is complete. Let's go and check the install, install files. Go into the folder where you have installed the plugin. By default it goes into this particular folder. So now you can see different folders with different version numbers. These version numbers correspond to Houdini versions. So if you check in Houdini launcher, you might have one of these versions installed. In case if you don't have one of these versions you can download from Houdini launcher itself so here I am installing the latest version which supports Redshift by looking at the folder you can see Houdini 20.0.590 is this is the latest one which supports Redshift that particular build if you want another build you can just click on this button and check for any other builds and install that so let's stick with the latest one the production build okay let's click on install yeah the installation is successfully completed let's check let's open Houdini and check if the Redshift plugin appears wait it doesn't appear because so far we have installed only Redshift and Houdini both separately at this stage Houdini don't know that there is a Redshift plugin installed in this PC. To make Houdini understand that there is something for him to pick up, we need to link these two softwares with a JSON file which is called package in Houdini term. To make it really easy for you guys I have provided a JSON file. There is a link in the description you can click on that and download it. So now let's go to my documents and go to Houdini 20 folder or whichever version you have installed. So in here we need to create a folder named packages. Just make sure you don't have any spelling errors here. It should be packages all small letters otherwise it may not work. Okay let's go inside this and here just paste the file which you have downloaded. In case if you have installed Redshift in a custom location, you might have to alter this particular path and point it to the right location. If you installed it in the default location by just clicking next, 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 you don't have to do anything after this. You just place this and open Houdini. That's it. Once you open Houdini, you can see the Redshift is successfully installed here. Let's just quickly set up a scene to check if the rendering works without any license errors or anything so I'm just going to drop a spear a grid a light and camera and then add some materials 
and quickly check the redshift render view here using the redshift drops. Yep, as you can see, it works flawlessly. We have installed redshift successfully very easily. So just go ahead and try it and let me know how it works. Hope you like this video. If you find it helpful, just comment that it helps. Um, it makes me to post more videos. Currently, I'm not concentrating much on this YouTube channel. If you guys shows shows the support, uh, I'll hopefully put more videos about installing and maybe even working on Houdini and Redshift. So thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.